Hello everyone, I'm Davy as a PN and a responsible for solution product. When it comes to safety of pharmaceutical products, Taiwan has passed a GDP regulation that requires pharmaceutical products to be stored and transported under certain conditions. Taiwanese GDP regulation is translated from the EU guidelines, which means that Taiwanese GDP regulation is very similar to the European regulation. At first, let's talk about GDP and its several key points. GDP is a part of quality assurance, ensuring that the quality of pharmaceutical products is maintained at all stages of the supply chain, from the manufacturing plant to the pharmacy. The first feature is to be able to monitor temperature and humidity. Second, the equipment must be able to be calibrated. That is to say, the simpler the equipment disassembly and the calibration, the better. Third, when the temperature exceeds the standard, the system needs to give along. Fourth, data needs to be stored safely for at least five years. Fifth, GDP defines several different temperature ranges in which medicines must be stored. Of course, our equipment fully meets the above requirements. According to the regulation of Taiwan's Food and Drug Administration, the storage of vaccine and medicines must be done at certain temperature and humidity levels. The error margin for temperature is plus or minus 0.5 degree, and for humidity is 5%. In the past, staff had to check and write down temperature in the freezer every day, in the morning, around noon, and in the evening. There are many disadvantages to this type of venue operation. For instance, staff could be too busy and forget to check and record the temperature. Inaccurate or fact records could be made of temperature and humidity levels, and papers are difficult to search and save. Recently, it can be seen from many news reports, more and more people have gradually raised their awareness of vaccine safety. For example, CNN and South China Morning Post have reported that the Chinese people took to the street to protest against unsafe vaccines, which affected the health of young children and promoted the most stringent vaccine management bill in history. In addition, Taiwan has also scrapped vaccines around 600 grand because of the damage to the freezer of the vaccine warehouse in Taizhou Health Bureau. Try to imagine when you went to a supermarket or a pharmacy to take a fresh food or medicine from a fridge. It was cold, right? Of course, because you just took it from a fridge. But have you ever thought about two hours ago or two days ago for this product? No, you haven't. In fact, we don't know absolutely. I think even the store owner doesn't know as well. So what we want to deliver is the concept of seamless cold chain management from the factory to freight, warehouse, store, and hospital. And of course, our products can fulfill the applications of these places. This is the structure of our cold chain solution. It is very easy to understand. We only have one sensor in this solution, and this sensor will send the data to the gateway by RORA in real time. And the gateway will pass the data to the cloud by internet in real time. And the manager can receive the notifications and monitor the whole cold chain situation through a browser or a mobile app in real time. This is the kernel of the solution, Check 120, a wireless temperature and humidity sensor. The first feature is to have a battery inside. This battery is very special and it can work in a cold environment for a long time. If you set every 10 minutes to record data and send the data to the gateway by LoRa, this battery can work in a frozen area for at least one year. Second, this sensor has two communications, LoRa and NFC. LoRa is a long range and a low power consumption communication. Its radiation can pass through a concrete wall 
or some metals. The data were not only to be sent out by LoRa but also recorded in the sensor. So you can just use a device to download the data by NFC communication. Third, this is a temperature and humidity sensor. Why humidity? Because we know that some products also care about humidity like wine or coffee. And the last feature, this sensor is an industrial product, IP65 and a full feet drop resistance. Our sensor is very easy for installation. There is a bracket behind the sensor and this bracket itself is a magnet. So you can fix the sensor on the inside of the fridge. If you are worried about stability, you can choose to stick by 3N adhesive type or screws. We also care about delivery. So our gateway is not only an industrial computer, but also an e-vehicle computer. This is a real case for a cold chain truck. We put several sensors in this container because this space can be divided into three temperature areas and every area needs to be sent by at least one sensor. This is a real case for drug store. We put sensors on each shelf of the fridge. The staff can access related data through NFC function from a handheld device, which automatically uploads the records to a cloud platform. This is a real case for blood donation bus that installed our sensor and e vehicle gateway. The blood donation bus in this project was initially equipped with wire sensors, which were calibrated at least once a year. However, the cables for the sensors are hidden in the bus's interlayers, making calibration extremely troublesome. By using our Track 120, their installation can be very easy. In the past, most customers don't have a management system to monitor their cold chain situation, and they just use pen and paper to record the data. But after installing our cold chain solution, they have a real-time notification system and a dashboard to see the real-time status and avoid a lot of cheating things. Many companies are improving now, and how about yours? Thank you.